Winning a rally is about endurance, cleanliness and of course performance. If you don't optimize the setup on your car, you're just not going to win rallies. To win, you need perfect confidence on your car. If you feel that the car is very good, that gives you confidence. Without that, you cannot go for a win in the rally. Obviously the target is to get you know, the optimum performance for every single type of event. That's the great challenge of the World Rally Championship. We might not all drive rally cars, but we do all want to get the most out of our engines. But can the fuel you use really make a difference to your car's performance? Welcome to our third and final test to find out what the benefits are of using BP Ultimate over ordinary unleaded fuel. So Neil, two challenges down. We've already seen how your choice of fuel can affect not only your fuel economy, but also help you lower emissions. So what's next? Well, from the passenger seat, we're going to see what our new rally friends and these Ford Focus STs can really do. It's also a test for the fuel. I mean, how does fuel actually affect your performance? We're talking about responsiveness. It's how your fuel's energy is transferred to the wheels, how this affects your acceleration, your mid-range power, and of course, your top speed. Top speed's very important. Well, we've got full exclusive access to both this track Plus, two of the best drivers in the world, BP Ultimate Ford World Rally stars Marcus Grunholm and Mikko Hirvonen. We're basically going to get them to do what they do best. It's a rally-style challenge against the clock. The only difference is this time, we're going to know which car is which. The first thing to do, let's flick a coin for it and see who gets a BP Ultimate car. Fine. Tails. Tails? Tails never fails, he says. What is it? It's yes. Tails. Right, you and Marcus get the Ultimate, we get the Ordinary. Good luck, boys. Thank you. So here we go, a true rally-based challenge. Neil and Miko are going first. Now they're in the car running on ordinary fuel, which should mean they're the underdogs in this challenge. That was a good one. Looking at Neil though, it looks like Miko's holding nothing back. And he's just set his top speed at 166 kilometers per hour. Miko's just set his fastest lap at 154.5 seconds. Beat that, Marcus. So this is it, final lap. Oh, he's throwing me around like a bee and a whistle. What target will he set for his teammate? It's going to be a tough time to beat. Over the five laps, it's 9 minutes 34 seconds. To explain why different fuels affect an engine's performance, here's fuel expert Paul Beckwith. Rally drivers like Miko and Marcus need to know their car's going to respond exactly how they need it to, when they need it to. We've already shown that BP Ultimate Unleaded is a cleaner fuel that can lower emissions and improve fuel economy. Its higher octane rating means it can produce more power compared to ordinary unleaded fuels. To see why this is, we need to look at how petrol actually burns inside the engine. Ideally, the spark plug should ignite the air-fuel mixture just before it reaches the top of the compression stroke. Good combustion occurs when the flame burns the mixture smoothly and progressively, releasing the maximum amount of energy from the fuel. In ordinary unleaded fuels, with a lower octane, there is a common problem that can affect combustion under certain conditions. This is called knock. This happens when part of the air-fuel mixture explodes ahead of the main flame. This isn't just a big waste of energy, but if left uncontrolled, the shock waves this creates can cause severe piston damage. Looking at this damaged piston, you can see how potentially fatal knock can be to an engine, which is why most engines today are fitted with knock sensors as standard. If the engine management system detects knock, the timing of the spark is immediately delayed, in effect detuning the engine. If we compare an engine in knock control mode with an engine using BP Ultimate, the higher octane formula avoids knock and more power is being produced. To demonstrate how BP Ultimate Unleaded improves the car's responsiveness, we need to do a scientifically controlled test to remove as many variables as possible. In these tests, we ran both these vehicles side by side on a flat one mile straight. From a rolling start, both vehicles accelerate. However, you can see that the car fueled on BP Ultimate accelerates better and is a full 20 meters ahead by the end of the run. Allowing for the fact that this is a very twisty track and we have two different drivers in Miko and Marcus, we can't really say that the fastest car will be the car running on BP Ultimate, but I bet it is. All we need to know is by how much. Here he is, the man they call the Iceman. <laughs> Finish star, Marcus Grunholm, ready to take this challenge. Lovely smooth start there. Oh, that's a poor gear change from the Finn. That'll lose him time. But look at that, a top speed, 171 kilometers per hour. He's faster than Miko. He might just make it up. Oh no, he's crashed the gears again. We lose it already. It's okay, don't worry. We have lost it already. No. <laughs> 
It seems the Finn just isn't used to our right-hand drive cars. He's coming to the end now. Let's see how much damage he's done. Oh, he's coming up. Would you believe it? He's just set the fastest lap. Look at the dot. Yes. <laughs> that was a fast one. But is it enough to win the challenge? Okay, fellas, it's the moment of truth. Uh, we have studied the data, and I can tell you the results are that you did achieve the fastest lap. Yes. And you did achieve the top speed. Sweet. So Very the proof good. is that the BP Ultimate Fuel does improve performance. But overall, we were quicker. Yeah, right. Really? By how much? By oh. far. Well, what? by... Um, by 0 0.06 oh, seconds. No, 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 that's uh, rubbish time. And at the end of the day, the buffins, as you call them, straight line speed, speed. We were quickest. Yeah. Straight line. We were quickest. The fuel was fine. Straight line. If we both had ordinary fuel, we would have done it.